up working next to a nigga driving him nigga crazy. <laughs> you gotta smile though. <laughs> Look at him fucking go. <laughs> Look at him fucking go. Come on, man. Hold on, bro. Is he the man? He's the man. <laughs> Yo, 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 what's up, what's up? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new, do your boy a favor and subscribe. Do not forget to hit the bell too, that way you stay updated. And if you're not new, I ain't gotta tell you, but I'm gonna tell you anyway. I truly appreciate you. Thank you for tuning in, thank you for supporting my channel. Thumbs up, like, share, and comment. Help my channel grow, help my videos get recommended. I would truly appreciate that. I'm going to say it one more time. <laughs> Thumbs up, like, share, and comment, please. That is extremely important for my channel to grow, you know what I'm saying, and this reaction. So, I am back with another reaction, y'all. A donated reaction from my boy Mason. He wanted me to do this movie called Open Range. I have absolutely no idea what this movie is about. But one thing I will say about Mason is that whenever he recommends a movie, it is damn good, man. Again, make sure y'all know I appreciate you. Thank you, man, for supporting my channel. Thank you for your donation. Anyway, man, I hope you guys are excited. So am I. Check this out. I'm going to put the link to my Patreon at the bottom. Check that out. Movie reaction, TV shows, regular reactions. With that, you get to see this full, uncut, unedited reaction of this movie, all my other movies, all my other TV shows. You get to vote on polls. And the best part, you get to see stuff before I put it on YouTube, meaning you guys are late. So, enough of that, man. I really hope that there's some action in this movie because you guys know that I love me some action. So, hope you guys enjoy my reaction. Let's get to it. Watch some heavy rain. Heavy rain. All right. That's it. Man's trust is a valuable thing, but you don't want to lose it for a handful of cards. That's true. You lie about that list, that means you lie about that big shit. I can't trust you. You know I ain't either? I know you ain't, but it's best to keep remembering if you want your fair share of respect when you're riding with men like Charlie and Boss. So they like, uh, what they call them? Is it second hand? Or? I don't know. There's a saying, like, people who help. I guess second hands. Mose, you'll have to ride back that town we passed a ways back. I'll go. Just don't know if that town's ready to have you turn loose on Jesus. Damn shit. <laughs> you can eat curse right. I guess that was called an attitude, huh? I got it if you're gonna pick your feet like a monkey. You do a downwind. Jim was it funky. It's getting dark, boss. He could have got hurt between that town and the camp. Yeah, Mose can look out for himself. But we better find him wherever he is. Button, come on down from there and get supper working. So are they just living like an open field, I guess? Herd, like a cattle, herd, herd, cattle. Before supper time. Wants to go. She acts like she does, but she don't. Still got the heart, not the legs. So they must have been that, that one spot for a long time, huh? Always let me a side on with some this off man couldn't pay all the oath for some cows. Well, a town must mean trouble. I guess whenever, whenever there's people around, they, people are unpredictable for sure. Not planning on staying long? How long it takes to find who we're looking for. Big man needing a haircut about 30. Oh, yeah. Know who you're talking about. Yeah, he's up in the jailhouse. Got into it with some with some cattlemen over at the general store. Busted him up pretty bad, too. Before Marshal Poole came up back of him, hit him over the head with his gun barrel. That's a big boy. He a friendly dude. How'd he get into it? They must have been with him. I believe you have a friend of ours in your jail. His name's Mose Harrison. He uh, started a fight in the general store. Most don't start fighting. I don't believe that shit. I just said he started. You said he didn't. Maybe you're calling me a liar. Oh shit. Well, I come to get you. How does uh, fifty dollars each offense sound? Like robbery. I've been waiting for you, Mr. Spearman. You know, folks in Fort Harmon come. Don't take the free grazers. Free grazing? What do you mean, minding my business? Take him with you when he leaves tonight. And come sunrise, you hitch up your wagon. Now you let Mr. Spearman fetch his man, so he can be on his way. Thanks. Nobody. Mind their own business. Yeah. Looks like someone's put the boost to him after he was down. 
Does it? That's some dirty dog ass shit, man. I'm Dr. Barlow. Well, your marshal had him. This man was in the fight with Den Baxter. Right. Broke the armor one. Knowing then they had him coming, I expect. Like I see. I want him. She showed him real hard, didn't she? Doc Barlow's got him pretty wife. Sweet, too. Treated as good as anybody is. A real lady. Creates quite a picture now, don't it? Yeah. Heard they're worth a thousand words. So he saw what I saw. She showed us looking, too. It's a good thing old dude got some good bosses, boy, because he'd probably still be in jail, man. There was three riders scouting up the herd this morning. They are looking at the cattle. That's trouble. Most of the time a man will tell you his bad intentions if you listen. Let yourself hear. That weren't no idle story. That weren't no idle story. Let's find out for certain. Hey, I'm about to say, you know, he's just watching, man. Fuck that. What the cow on, bro? Hey, bro. Ass. That's some that's some punk ass shit. They they won't trouble. Well, I figured we can leave the cattle behind and run, or you and me can go out there in the dark and stop them before they scatter the herd. Take your you a hard working man. Cows were getting killed over. One man telling another man where he can go in this country, something else. Time to show us that he gave the orders around here. <laughs> I like him. I like him though. You don't you don't know me. Got the scatter gun. We'll be watching for him. You want to douse that fire? I got some sugar in that town. <laughs> got some ass. It's in the wagon. <laughs> oh, some real sugar. I bet he's got some ass. Well, you can bet Butler will square things with that big man. One twitch, and you're in hell. Now get on your feet, all of you. You can't even see us. Which one of you's got a sore back? I'm well, not gang up on a man three to one. Oh! Ooh! How many riders does he have? The rest are on their way to your wagon. Yes, Ooh! <laughs> now get your britches off. I'm not taking my britches off for nobody. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> boy, bust that boy eardrum. Belly down, flat out. <laughs> the peckers in the dirt. He ain't no joke. Old man in the. <laughs> Charlie. Charlie. Oh, he a killer. He a killer. They shot the boy, but he's alive. Is that Mose? He's dead. All right, fight for their life. Shot the f***ing dog too, bro. They shot the damn dog. You've done all you can. He needs a doctor now. I want to kill every son of a bitch. I know I've never gone against your boss, but he needs that doctor back in that town. I aim to take him. But I aim to kill Baxter and those that done this. Now, if that marshal gets in the way, I'm going to kill him, too. Let's get your mind right about what's got to be done, Charlie. Who's <laughs> an idiot with me in that? Got a damn kid and a dog. You're right to say some words. You want to speak with the man upstairs, go on and do it. I'll stand right here and listen, hat in hand. But I ain't talking to that son of a bitch. <laughs> oh, man. Well, you got shit to say to God, huh? You say he pissed at him. A bunch of us would go into the woods with our pea shooters. Killed my first man in them woods. Knew there'd be more killing, so I run off and joined the army. Was made into a special squad. Orders were pretty simple, make trouble wherever we could. They didn't mess up, boy. Mm-mm. Killing and turn peaceful, you bring back that damn killer. Spearman. Doctor Ian. No, he's not here. You got a boy who's hurt bad. Well, I don't think it's a fracture. Concussion's more likely, but it's bad. Back to camp. Others had shot Moe's in the head, but left him for dead. We could wire for the federal marshal. We're obliged to deal with the marshal and Baxter ourselves. Even if he wakes, he's going to need to stay here a couple of days so we can watch him. They were best for him. They some good dudes, for sure. They are some good dudes. <laughs> they do. Oh, making a trail for the water? Must be deep as hell, huh? You're going into the cafe. I'd be proud to buy you both a cup of coffee. That's what's up, man. Love for dogs, man. I'll be having words with you two. Hmm. Leave me the fuck alone. We'll be having more than that with you, Marshal. I get the fuck on. Baxter's men bushwhacked our friend, shot him dead, shot a 16-year-old boy too, and clubbed him so hard. He might not live. Anyone who helps these skin free grazers is gonna have to deal with me. <laughs> I'll blow your shit off. <laughs> I 
do this shit for a living, boy. Well, I say we take him right out of jail, lock him up, make the Baxter come riding in. I'll fight wherever you want, boss. Just make the call. <laughs> you have motherfucker. I'll kill. Just say the word. Please, come in. Are you sure, ma'am? We're a might rank. No, 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 please. It's all right. <laughs> they ain't used to that. They ain't used to that. That's too fancy for them. So is it marriage that scares you two? I'm putting down roots. No. I married once. They caught the typhus and died, and after that, home didn't seem a place to spend time. If Button lives, I swear I aim to see to it there's a home he's sleeping in instead of the cold prairie. Good man, though. Probably father. Damn good man. Hard worker, too. Been riding with him 10 years. Never said nothing about being married. We have a spare room. It's yours if you want it. Couldn't do that, man. It's a small town. It wouldn't look right for us to spend the night, particularly with the dock away. Honest man. I respect that. He's respectable for sure. The world ain't a perfect place, but you got unfinished business here. I asked him to reconsider, and I'm asking you. Oh, shit. They don't give a damn, bro. Demons, boy. Two whiskeys, Barkey. Barkey, two whiskeys. See that sign? Oh, you a rude motherfucker, huh? <laughs> now he asked you twice. Baxter have my job. <laughs> Damn, boy, this dude crazy as fuck. <laughs> he crazy. Now we'll have our drinks. Kid over at Doc's house put on death's doorstep by Baxter. Doc's wife's caring for him. Well, you know, she makes somebody a fine wife, but she ain't the Doc's. Ooh. -wee. Holy shit. The sister and his wife. She Franklin. She Franklin. Feel so bad about your friend. She all right? He's dead. Shame what this town has come to. You do something about it. I didn't raise my boys just to see him killed. Things that gnaw a man worse than dying. That went cold blooded, boy. You must be plum crazy. You're a dead man. Didn't he tell you to shut up? <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> he good for clocking, motherfucker, boy. Well, looky here. He's asleep. No. Oh. Looky here. <laughs> Y'all ain't slick. That boy's slick. <laughs> Sleep in the fucking sheriff's office in his chair. I put him to sleep. He was a fright bard. Just taking a little nap, that's all. Thought I'd make myself some breakfast. Two more mouths wouldn't be any bother. Yeah. He looking now. He looking now. That ain't good. Well, the doctor will be on his way home. It's just that we've been thinking that you and the doc was husband and wife. I you was married, Sue. I'm not. Well, that's good. I mean, that's good to know. Otherwise, we... <laughs> he a respectable guy, man. Respectable guy. There ain't no regular guy going, oh, I don't care about you being married. Thank you, Sue. Take care of yourself, Charlie. They coming back, I assume. But it, it ain't over. Ain't nothing to say. I seen how you look at that gal, the way she looks at you. I wish I'd have said more to my wife. Tell her whatever you can, because she's entitled to more than just your backside. He said he know about he know experience. Experience. I'm, uh, I'm not sure what's worth saying or not. I'm not who you think I am, Sue. I've, I've been places, I've done things most of them I'm not proud of. I've seen who you are, Charlie. The way you looked after that boy. They're enough for a woman who looks. Got some look forward to that, boss. It's always brought me luck. I want you to know that if I don't ever see you again, ain't nothing that happened in this old town been a surprise except for you. Please give her a hug or a kiss on the cheek or something, bro. Ugh. She want that kiss. She want, she want a hug or something. Good morning, boy. Bring your breakfast. They been, <laughs> they been sleeping the whole damn time. If I'm tired of this shit. Thinking about some candy. Now, what's the most expensive you got? 
Well, um, it's dark chocolate. They call it bittersweet. Melts in your mouth. You tried it? <laughs> no. How you know it melts in your mouth? <gasps> How you know? Now these come all the way from Havana, Cuba. We will enjoy these later, boss. To place some guns and ammo where we can get to it on a short run. Help yourself. Was it? I guess let her know what kind of China set it was, I guess. What I always respected about you, what I always appreciated. You treated other people, how you treated me. How you never look for no trouble. And... He don't mind causing it, though. It's a damn show. Now, I don't figure all of them to be killers, maybe. The others will be hired men, probably. The rest will be cowpunchers. They won't want to line up in front of us. It'll happen fast once I start. You just start right in on them with that scatter gun. Kill them. I don't give a fuck. Sounds like you got it all worked out. But <laughs> this ain't my first rodeo. Thought maybe I'd sell off the cattle and have enough to start up a saloon somewhere. Man could stay cool in the summer, dry in the winter. If I die, please sell my good horse and my good saddle and my gun to buy a tea set for Miss Barlow, Charlie Wade. I wasn't expecting that. I was not expecting that. Looks like you're plumb chained to your work, Marshal. Get him all up! Why he ain't kill him? I don't get that. I don't know why he ain't kill him. That's what's up. Where the lookout. I'm not going to my maker without knowing your given name. Charles Travis Postlewaite. What's yours? Sure ain't boss. It's Blue Bonnet. No middle name? No, just Blue Bonnet Spearman. And don't you tell no one. <laughs> Blue Bonnet, huh? You the one killed our friend? That's right. I shot the boy, too, and I enjoyed it. <laughs> oh, shit! <gasps> Damn! Hit that motherfucker, boy. <laughs> Pull horses. Pull horses. <laughs> Don't you cry on phone now, bitch. Oh, crying ass. Ooh. 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 My green. Oh, shit. You did, dog. Come here. No, sir. It's locked. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong place, boss. You hit? I'm good. <laughs> you, you pull that trigger, Baxter, and you can forget about me patching you up. That boy a scumbag. He is a straight scumbag, bruh. Ooh, wee. <laughs> Stupid ass. Don't run. <laughs> Try to run. You're going out there. We ain't ourselves yet. The boy said, We ain't, not, we, we ain't ourselves yet. But y'all have the whole conversation. You know your damn name? Oh, punk asses. Charlie, hold on there, Charlie. Nah. Hold on. I ain't looking over my shoulder the rest of my days. I don't blame him. Hell with that. He tried to kill me. We come for justice, not vengeance. Now, doing? them is two different things. What are you doing? This ain't the way, pard. Thank you. I'll do it for you, boy. Who is that? That's baby boy. What are you doing? What the fuck is going on? What is this? That's some coward ass shit. Register. <laughs> You're a disgrace, Marshal Poole. You always have been. She got some balls on her, boy. Let the woman and boy go. They ain't a part of this. You let her take him to the docks. The docks in jail. Why? What the dog do? I crush any man who stands with them. So you women, you better take hold of your men. He talked real good. He talked real good. They scared, boy. They <laughs> scared as hell. Ooh, shit. <laughs> Fuck you thought you wouldn't do. Ooh. Damn. Them boy 
is hidden. I'm gonna kill you, Baxter. My German, it's your German. I burn him up. Why he in there? Set it on fire. Hey, you know that door's locked. Well, it won't be when the scattergun hits it. You know what? Over with. Oh man. Kill me then. <laughs> he bought that shit. Hey, wish me could pull it to ease your pain, you son of a bitch. Who the fuck is that? <laughs> they were running his ass down! Your man's in the saloon. Ordered everybody out. I'd like to speak with you, Miss Barlow, if you ain't offended by entering a saloon. And he shot up. Tell you that I'll be leaving in a day or two. I'd like you to stay. But I ain't no more than those who come to kill us. You seen that yourself. Maybe you've done some bad things. Maybe worse than bad, but what happened here today wasn't one of them. And those killings, they don't give you pause. I'm not afraid of you, Charlie. And I'm not gonna wait forever. When you're far away, I want you to think about that and come back to me. I like her. Say, man, go on, you get your mind together, get yourself together, come back, man. I'll, I'll give you some time. I'm in love with you, Sue. I know I'm not the kind of man you expected to walk up your front walk. But riding away thinking I was never gonna see you again was maybe, maybe the most awful feeling I ever had in my life. I'm about got words. He got some words. I know. I can be a good husband to you. I'm asking you now, will you marry me, Sue? I'll marry you. I'm gonna give you a thousand of these. I forgot to tell you I have word about the saloon by the time you get back. Saloon? Told you I was wanting out of the cattle bill. Oh, shit. Funny thing, there's a saloon right back there. It just had its owner die. Hope you'll be my partner. That don't sound too shabby, bro. Well, I can't afford something like that. Let the brains of the outfit do the thinking. You are coming back, aren't you? See, you're coming back. He just asked to marry you. What the heck? I want you to lose sight of the rooftops. You gotta go. How's this gonna work if you don't do what I say? I told you I'm gonna give you a thousand of these before I die. I'm gonna make sure you do. I said, thousand kisses before you die. Yo, yo, yo. This was a damn good movie, man. I enjoyed it. You know, um, I will say that out of all of the Western movies I have watched, this probably has the most sweetest ending yet. Usually they don't end off on a sweet note like this. This ended off more on like a love story type of feel, man. And I enjoyed that. I enjoyed that, man. Charlie was a hard case. He was definitely a hard case, but I can see why. Because him doing all the things that he's done in his past, killing all those men, I can see how that shit would hunt you. I want to say he was living a rough life. I did not know that he was trying to suppress all those demons that he had. I have never guessed that shit, but the moment that they ran into those guys, he was going to blow that, shit, that dude's shit back. Without hesitation, I said, oh yeah, he's a killer. What I don't understand, though, is that why did they hate, was it cow grazers? Why did they hate them so damn much? They mind their own business, made their own money, didn't cause any trouble. What was the issue with that? I don't get that. That that confused the hell out of me. Is it because they made their own money and didn't need, I guess, the town? They called them, like, was it free moochers off the land? But if it's open land and the land don't belong to anybody, how the fuck they free mooching? They got their own cattle. They're making their own living. Their own honest living. What the fuck is the problem? What was the point of the, I guess, I wouldn't call him the sheriff. I guess the owner of the town. What the fuck was his issue with them? Your way of getting rid of them was to kill them? You even tried to kill the fucking boy. A boy, a 16-year-old boy who's innocent. He ain't got nothing to do with nothing. And it was bullshit, man, that the sheriff had beat up the big guy, the one they killed, man. And you're going to lie and say he came in and caused him trouble. Which, that was fucking bullshit. I think they were pissed off because he, he had beat their ass. And so they tried to jump him. And I think he had beat three of them. Broke, I think broke one dude's arm and fucked the other two up. So uh, I, can, I guess I can see how that pissed him off. But y'all can't fuck with him. And then throw him in jail and then beat his ass again. They would have not even know that they even existed if the guy didn't come into town, I guess, to buy some supplies. I felt like the the gunshots in this movie hit a whole lot harder than a lot of movies that I saw. Like, them motherfuckers, they was hidden. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what it was. I don't know if it was my dang, old, my, my dang old headphones or what, but them motherfuckers was hidden. 
owner, I guess, he was a fucking coward. You point your fucking weapon at a child, man, you choose to run off. One thing I will say, man, is that it seemed as if the bullets had little effect on, was it, uh, Charlie and the old guy. I thought they were about to fucking die. I think one dude got hit in the abdomen, and I guess Charlie got, he got hit in the leg. These three, well, these two dudes literally took on, was it like eight, nine people? Charlie was a fucking beast. <laughs> he was a beast. I like the scene when the lady came and shot to, I guess, to, to see if Charlie was dead, and that guy ended up taking her hostage, and Charlie gunned his ass down. You, you could tell that shit was personal. You could tell he took that shit personal, man. Another thing I respected, though, was that when Charlie thought through his married man, he didn't try to make a pass at her. Because any other time, man, any a guy, they wouldn't give a fuck. I respect that, man, because you know how men are. Ain't gonna lie, guys are dog. But he had respect for her. As I said, this movie was definitely full of action, man. It had a little bit of romance to it, which I like that, too, because I'm not used to Western movies having that. So, yes, this is a damn good movie. Damn good movie, man. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction. Thank you, Mason, man. Thank you for recommending this movie. I hope you enjoyed my reaction, man. Thank you for your donation. And I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out.